Hello everybody and welcome back to All Eyes on Sea. Today I'm going to be doing um, a little video called Self Care Saturday. I feel like it's important for everybody to, you know, practice self love and invest a lot of time back into yourself that we spend, you know, doing other things. Especially being in quarantine still, I feel like this is the perfect time to get our routines down and just practice doing things for yourself instead of you know, having other people do it. Because in times like this, when you can't go to get somebody to do it for you, it's important that you know what you're doing. So, um, yeah, I think today it's just all about empowerment and women empowerment and, you know, just having that special routine for you. So I'm gonna be doing, you know, like a deep cleansing, washing my face, I'm gonna paint my toes, um, take a nice bath, you know, probably go on a walk or something later. Um, just spending a lot of quality time with myself. So I'm probably about to go eat breakfast since it's like nine something in the morning and do my little devotion. Um, I might make a little smoothie or something. So yeah, just stay tuned if you want to see my self care Saturday routine. So I just made breakfast, um, I made pancakes and like the southern hash browns um, and I can't eat anything without hot sauce so. And then this is my devotional book, I'll tag the title and um, where you can get it below. So I'm going to do that while I eat breakfast and I'm probably going to make like a smoothie after. But yeah, this is the beginning of my day. So now I'm making a smoothie. It has strawberries, bananas, a little bit of blueberries, a little bit of milk, and then you add the ice on top. Maybe a little bit more ice. I like it like like frozen, frozen. You feel me? No, it's fine. Bam, and now we go mix it all up. You know what I mean? to show you guys how my smoothie came out. It's super big. I love this cup. I don't even remember getting it. Yeah. So strawberries, milk, bananas, um, a little bit of blueberries, and some ice. And ta-da! Best smoothie in the world. So I went and put some clothes on because I was in my robe. Um, a part of this self-care Saturday, before I get to pamper myself, I went ahead and you know washed my bed sheets. I started a load of laundry. Um, the kitchen's clean. Everything's clean downstairs. So everything is feels nice. So I'm finally about to light some candles and just relax for the rest of the day. Um, but I'm excited for this part because while I was doing all of that, somebody came to the door and delivered my books. I have been waiting for these. I mean, not long, but I was just really excited that they came. Um, I got this really good idea to start a book club for my, one of my friends. She started reading this book. so. Um, I was inspired by that because I really love 
this pastor. Like he is amazing, amazing. I started listening to him probably last year when he came out with relationship goals and it like went viral. Um, but yeah, he wrote a book about it and he's really excited because he's finally an author. So I thought it'd be a good idea to support him. And a lot of things that he was saying is stuff that I have trouble with. So we're gonna start doing this. Every Thursday night at 9 p.m. we're gonna go live on my Instagram and like discuss two chapters per week, like our perspective on the topics and like what we gain from it, what we can teach somebody else, like if somebody has that problem too. And then the second book we're gonna do so far is called The Weight by Megan Good. I love, love, love Megan Good. Like she has the most pure personality. I just, I love her. So this is a book about her journey and like relationships um, from her perspective. So. I just think it's good, you know, not relationships like couple wise, um, but just relationships throughout your life, like your friendships, um, relationships with your parents. And I think this is something that is gonna be a game changer for me. So if you would like to stay tuned to the book club um, and discussing these things, come follow me on Instagram. The link will be later on in this video. Actually, I'll just tag it right here. Um, just follow me on Instagram and every Thursday night at 9 p.m. we're gonna do this. So, that being said, I think that's like really nice out. I think I'm just gonna go lay out for a little bit and just relax before I go work out. And then, yeah, I think by then I'll just do my face um, routine and then paint my toes um, and then probably just go on the walk like I said. So. Let's see where the day takes me. <laughs> so of course I took advantage of this beautiful day. Excuse the pool coming soon. <laughs> Brooke, come here. Say hi. Say hi, Brooke. Okay. I guess you don't want to be YouTube famous. That's cool. But yes. I am out here chilling, baking, getting that vitamin C. So hot, so hopefully it works. I am from Florida, so any little sun, I have to take advantage of it. But yeah, it's so nice out today. It's like hot, but it's nice and windy too, so. Just enjoying it. There's Brooke. <laughs> and there's Meech over there. Can you find him? Meech! Meech! <laughs> but yeah, nice up here today. Good music, good vibes. So, unfortunately, no, I'm just kidding. Self-care Sunday is not on a rest day. So I came to the field to do a little quick workout. So, this is Ben Hill Park in Atlanta. And I always just come here and work out. So. finished working out and let me just say that was a very intense workout like I can already feel my legs like so tight but like I said you look good you feel good so I gotta work for it um but yeah so let's get back into my self-care routine because today is all about what <laughs> no, let me stop um I think what I'm about to do is I'm going to obviously make my bed because all of the sheets are washed. I'm going to fold the laundry that's in the dryer. Um, and then I think I'm going to take a bath just so I can relax my muscles. I just got like that Dr. Teal's eucalyptus um, bath soap. So I think I'm going to do that. 
And then when I get out, I can show you guys like the soap that I use on my face and the cleanser brush that I use too. Um, and I think after that, I'm just gonna go on a walk somewhere. Um, haven't really decided where yet, but just something, just something to get outside again. Um, because I just love being outside, so yeah. I'm about to paint my toes too because there's a tip that I learned from my mom. She actually said like if you like paint your toes at home, to do it before you get in like the shower or the bath because the hot water will, it'll rub right off your skin like the nail polish. So I'm about to do that before I get in the bath because my toes need some help. This quarantine has not done nothing for them. So um, other than that, yeah. So I will come back um, when I get out of the bath and show you guys my face routine. Bye. Just said I'm about to go in the bath, but I could not stay away from the food. Ooh wee. Yes, sir. It's a great Saturday to be grilling. Yes, sir. Self care Saturday at its finest. We got Michael Lee. Yes, sir. <laughs> but yeah, we're chilling. We vibing. Oh, I just wanted that. to show y'all what I'm about to eat for dinner. So when I get out of the bath, this should be ready. It's almost ready now, shoot. Y'all, yeah, I'm about to eat good. This is probably my favorite part of Self Care Saturday. When all of the work you did all day, and you just get to relax in a nice bath. My painted toes. <laughs> But that's the soap that I use. It's the Dr. Teal's Eucalyptus one. It smells so good. So good. And then that is my favorite candle from Bath and Body Works. So. And of course, Drake. It's just fitting. And then there is me. And my wife. Cheers. Okay. It's for all my beautiful women and their self-love, self-care. Just practice it. It's amazing. Okay, guys. So this is me legit out of the bathtub. So um, I told you guys I'm going to show you what I use to wash my face. Um, so yeah, here we go. This is my face routine. <laughs> um, so I use this soap by Clean and Clear. It's literally super, super cheap. It's like probably $5, but it's the only thing that works on my face like everything else makes my face break out like i don't trust nothing so this is what i use and then i use this face massager so put like a little bit on there i'm gonna wet my face first put some water on it turn it on at the high speed and then just Good. Yeah. Just make sure you get all of the points in your face. Yeah. It's like an exfoliating scrub, so you want to make sure that you get deep, deep in there. My neck. Big old forehead. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now that I'm done, I've got it pretty good. It feels so good. It feels like your face is tingling. That's all I like about it. I'll turn it off and then rinse it all off. So once you dry your face, I use this lotion. It is the bomb.com. Like, 
I used to always just, that was it, like just wash my face and keep going, but this just does the thing. I don't even know what it is. So I get a little bit, and then I just put it on my face. It just feels so good. Like, I don't understand. But yeah. I'm just kidding. I love it. So yeah, that is my face routine. <laughs> I am back. So I thought to, you know, be a part of my self-care Saturday routine. I thought it'd be a good idea to step outside, you know, embrace the nature. Um, either take like a nice walk in the park, walk the dog, um, or maybe go to Stone Mountain watch the sunset just something like to just be outside so I feel like that's good therapeutic energy um, so I feel like you know I look good and I'm going to feel good and when you feel good you do good and when you do good you work good and when you work good you get paid good sis so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> so, but yeah I think that's what I'm about to do today Brooke, sit. Brooke. Sit. 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 Down. Okay. Well, you don't listen to nobody today. What's up? We got Michael Lee. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, so, Mike, explain to them what the belt line is. What is it? Oh, uh, I'm not just moved back to Atlanta, <laughs> so I wouldn't know. But I think it's like a community uh, trail. It's a railway corridor, whatever that means. Yeah, and it connects. It's connecting the east side and the west side together, like via a trail. So communities can interlock. Inter inter it's really nice. It says like some parts aren't even done yet, but there's like breweries and stuff. So I'm definitely coming back tomorrow because I didn't have to bring my wallet. So. I am back from my walk. We went to the Beltline and it was really nice, really nice outside. So I'm back, I took a shower. So now it's time for bed. The laundry's done, my bed is made. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys one thing because I feel like it's always important to invest in your space because you know, it is your sanctuary. It's where you spend a lot of time or like after a stressful day. So I just wanted to show you guys this I've been working on. It's like my vision board. So these are different things. Like this is what I'm supposed to do daily, every day. And then these whole all things are like stuff that I'm working on gradually. So I just think it's important to have this somewhere where you can remind yourself and keep yourself on track. So yeah, but other than that, I just want to say thank you guys for watching my self care routine, my self care Saturday, and being a part of it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and comment below if you like this video or what else you want to see from me. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget next Sunday there will be a new video. Bye guys.